I'm Fred Kapaya. I'm going to make a presentation on a study that was conducted in Zambia on the performance of vaccination campaign using oral cholera vaccine with and without uh, controlled temperature chain. Now, I must be quick to state that um, we had made some presentation uh, on the background information, on the objectives, and also on the methodology. So this presentation, I'll concentrate on the results but I'll give a brief on the rationale and methodology. So just we are on the same page, all of us. So why did we decide to conduct uh, the study? First and foremost, we need to understand that World Health Organization recommends the use of OCV in endemic countries, humanitarian crisis, and also in response to outbreaks. And in all these timeliness is actually essential. Now, the CTC strategy reduce, reduces the logistics needs that are linked to the code chain and makes it easier to actually vaccinate a large population in a shorter uh, time period. This tends to increase actually the impact of the vaccination, thereby reducing the morbidity and the mortality. And therefore, uh, generating evidence about the advantages of CTC will actually help to inform and restructure our OCV programs to improve coverage and ultimately protect people from actual cholera. It will also help to highlight and prioritize additional areas of research. What were the objectives? Our, prim our primary objective was to demonstrate the superiority of the CTC strategy in terms of the number of people vaccinated per day by the vaccination team compared to that uh, vaccinated using the standard code chain, uh, holding all other resources constant. And amongst the secondary objectives, I know there were quite a number, some of which I think colleagues from PATH will, prevent, will present at a later stage on the costing. But some of the issues that we shall concentrate on as secondary objectives is to compare the vaccine coverage achieved in the areas that were vaccinated using the CTC and comparing those with the ones vaccinated in, the, in those areas with the standard code chain. And also we uh, went on to assess the perceptions of the CTC strategy among the vaccination teams and also the knowledge, attitudes, and practices towards the vaccination among the vaccinators and the vaccine supervisors. Our methodology, our design, it was a simple randomized multi-stage interventional trial where we're comparing the CTC versus the standard code chain. And within it, there was a nested CAP survey as a sub-study. Our setting, we selected two districts that have similar climate, terrain, demographics, and socioeconomic activities. As shown in the map, those are the two districts in Zambia, one on Sama, the other one called Shibuyunji. And the study population in the main study were concentrating on the vaccinators and the vaccine supervisors. And these were divided into two uh, study arms, the control arm, which is the standard code chain, and the intervention arm, the CTC. And then in the sub uh, study, it was a CAP survey, which was nested. No blinding was done, all data was anonymized. And our sample size, we selected 15 vaccination, 59 vac vaccination teams per district. The data was collected and analyzed using STATA version. Uh, it was actual version 14. Uh, the baseline characteristics were compared between the stud arms and then bivariate analysis was done to determine the statistical significance and difference between the two arms. So the results. So in this table, we are comparing the results uh, of those that were vaccinated using the standard court chain and also the CTC in both districts for round one and round two. What is very evident here is that in both districts and in both round one and round two, more people were vaccinated using the CTC uh, strategy than the standard code chain. So we can see uh, in round one, 50.5% were vaccinated using the CTC versus 49.5. And in round two, 53.2% were vaccinated 
um, in the CTC compared to 46.8% in the uh, standard code chain. In the bivariate analysis, in the first round uh, in both districts, uh, although more people are vaccinated uh, in the CTC um, arm compared to the standard code chain, there was no statistical difference that was found. As you can see the p-values there, but in the second round, especially in the district court Shibuyunji, there was a statistical difference. There were more people vaccinated in the controlled temperature chain, about 55%, compared to the standard code chain, 45%, with a p-value of 0 0.017. And what is interesting in this district is that during the second round, we had more logistical challenges in this district. And I think uh, it goes to show that um, this, the CTC strategy actually works better in areas where you have more logistical challenges, especially in places like rural areas where the code chain tends to be compromised. What about the CAP survey? What we found on the knowledge about the CTC strategy more than 90% of the participants had adequate knowledge about CTC, stating that it was easier to implement and it could be implemented at all levels of care and more so in rural areas. On the attitudes and practices, 100% of the participants expressed confidence in CTC and indicated that they, could, uh, they would prefer CTC to standard code chain in future vaccinations. And on the advantages, most of them stated, stated that there were higher vaccination coverages achieved with CTC. CTC was easier to implement in rural areas with huge challenges, especially with code chain. And also they talked about the weight of the vaccines, especially the vaccine carriers when going for out services. So in CTC, that tends to be reduced and easier to therefore conduct in the rural areas. One major challenge that came up with the CTC was simply how to manage the vaccine in very hot conditions. So our discussion and conclusion, overall we were able to see that more people were vaccinated in the CTC arm compared to the standard code chain arm. And the vaccination campaign implementers expressed confidence in CTC. They found it easier to implement and almost 100% preferred use of CTC in future campaigns. The CTC is actually more beneficial in resource limited settings, which have huge log logistical challenges. I must be quick to mention that we conducted this study in two districts out of the 116 districts. So maybe conducting uh, with a larger, conducting a study with a larger sample size, more districts would even provide more information and evidence. There are a few limitations that I would like to state. One is the sample size that I've already talked about, only two districts out of the 116 districts in the country. And also we conducted the exercise during the height of the COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic. This actually overstretched the qualified workforce because they also had to ensure that they attended to the COVID-19 cases that were being reported throughout the country. The other um, issue that was also encountered was that we conducted this just before the political elections. And because of this, it increased the myths and misconceptions even among health workers, where some people of, of particular political parties thought that uh, we were targeting them with the new interventions so that they could be eliminated and therefore not participate in the elections. This is where I end. Thank you very much.